Hey everybody, we're back with Fallout 76, and we're not on the uh, Death Knight build this video. And I also want to say, I'm sorry there was no video yesterday. Um, two things on why there was no video yesterday. One, I just did not want to record. Like, I just woke up, did not feel like recording, and then my friend called because he was had a break from his job, and we, we talked for a little while. And he mentioned Call of Duty, and, you know, he's been trying to help. We've been trying to do a lot of challenges on Modern Warfare, because that game's really fun when you play with, uh, when you play together, like, with friends. Alone? I think it's awful. Like, I think, like, the game is terrible playing alone. But yeah, so I played that kind of for a while. Hello. Who is this? A level, a low level. And there's a phone. Hmm. Right when I record. Why? Where are my little elves? No, really. I fear for their safety. Some scam number. Who calls at 341? It's like... Right when I record, someone has to call. But why? Every time. Oh, uh, what can we do? Oh, one thing. I uh, I moved a bunch of weapons to another character. Um, so now, oh, well, I did have free space. Then I managed to fill it all up again. But I have no idea. It's mainly steel scrap. A lot of steel. Well, yeah. A bunch of different stuff. I got rid of... I didn't get rid of any weapons. They're all on the, the Death Knight build. Because I figured, like, I could use the Death Knight build character as a mule. Basically a mule. I know one of you said to make an entire another account. But it's like, uh, no. Not on Xbox. Because then I'd have to pay gold twice a year. And that'd be a hundred and some dollars for two accounts. Which I'd rather not do. So what you do instead... If you want to transfer items really easily between characters. I know this works on Xbox. I'm not sure about PC. Um, you add someone... What you do is you put both characters in the same spot. Right? Like, so you empty... You take out all the stuff you want. You put it in a container. You add someone random on the server to your friends list. Like that guy. You add him to your friends list. Not the, not the in-game friends list. Right? Not this kind of friends list. You add him to... This friends list. The Xbox friends list. Because then, you you just hit join game and it brings you back to the same server. That's if you don't have, you know, if you don't have friends. Because if you have, you know, a friend, you can just, you know, tell him to transfer the item for you. You know, give it to him and switch and blah. Do I need that? No. What can we do? Ah, let's go in here for old time's sake. The medical center. See if there's a, a legendary... I don't really know why, because now there's legendary Scorch, like, everywhere. The Big Ben Tunnel is probably one of the best places to go. Glass Cavern's not too bad. Uh, a lot of people say there's a glitch that spawns, like, endless Scorch in there, but... Some people say it does, some people say it doesn't. We'll see. I mean, I do like this, like, Christmas event. I think it's neat how they added these special enemies around. Hehe. <laughs> <laughs> and people called this a food build. Really don't see it. one-shot people. No, fine. I didn't have any stealth perks there. I have no stealth perks on this character. Didn't even get detected. Shooting an explosive gun. Protect 
Oh, uh, you guys remember when, when these, all the robots here would spawn as legendaries? Well, they, not every robot, but you could, they would, they would spawn as legendaries and then Bethesda removed it for some reason. Made Watoga a lot more interesting. Now you never see anyone here. Like, look, nobody's in Watoga. Even though there's like a weird dungeon, like, that you can go in that place. It's got, here, let's go in there. Oh, how do I get down again? There we go, good enough. I got enough help to survive falls. But this place, this place here, it's like a mini dungeon that you never see anyone talk about. I mean, honestly, wait, what the? But this place is honestly, I would say, on par with something like the Burrows. I mean, look, got wait, what? What even happened here? Why is there weird protectrons? That one. I can activate. Look, you even have like these rooms. Like you go in here and it's just like... I feel like this place was going to be something more. Because it, it definitely feels like... Oh, well. Let's just... Uh... Oh, I, I managed to um, also put all those uh, fusion cores and plasma cores in my stash, so now I don't have to have batteries included on. Try to unlock this. Mm -hmm. Dang it. I hate doing this. There was some kind of glitch before. Okay, two like bodies. Uh. Nope. Nope. Life cleanest one. I'll unlock it eventually. I'm just gonna keep doing try three back out kind of thing instead of okay three like trader there we go mining services uh, safe control disengage lock Tektron. Sit down all units. Shut like that. down. Signal received. Unit returning. Discharge pod. Oh, there's a holo tape in here. I didn't even know that. Oh, whoops. Disposal and containment. I'm thinking weapon. Score 
Arch to walk around with chunks of ultrasite stuck in him. We modify some guns to fire depleted ultrasite. See if that makes those assholes melt. Huh. All right, so. Guess it's like depleted uranium in a way. How to Abrams tanks fire depleted uranium. Oh, hey, not a single stealth perk. Wow, there's a lot of turrets in here. <laughs> oh, that could have gone better. Hey, wow, I have no stim packs? I thought I had a whole bunch on this character. That could that could have went a lot. Oh. Quit being stupid. I didn't even put first aid back on. I thought I ordered all the turrets, or things to stand down. Oh, I also don't have... That's what I was missing, too. I need to get... There we go. Jesus. Alright, water is not first aid. This is what I was talking about. It's like a weird mini dungeon. And for some reason, that's incredibly radiated. No legendaries yet, though. Is that quantum? No, oh, it's ultra sight. Someone was in here. Or unless it just didn't spawn. I should really stop taking those. I have way too many. Should I go get that? I'll get it when we leave. Like, I've been in here before. So I know what's at the top. That was weird. Might as well use this before it breaks.
now. Oh, that one's taken as well. Or it didn't spawn. One of the two. Jesus. Game, like... Game, like, froze for me. That was weird. Oh, let's start all the way down here. Oh, no, that was weird. Like, the game... It, like, wasn't letting me move or anything. Well, let's try again. Let's reload this. I got... Oh, that was just weird. I'm not going through that. That's annoying. Oh, I hate hacking terminals and doing locks. They should really just let you shoot locks open. Like, there should be a perk. Shoot locks open with shotgun or... Yeah, basically with shotgun or explosives. Oh, there's a legendary. Hey, one legendary. Oh, and he's a three star. Well, this might have been worth it. Let's see if he gives me a one star item. Please take cover until the danger has been. Yeah, that's weird. I managed to get away, but... Negative sensor read. Weapons cold. Hmm. I don't want to kill him, because legendary robots explode. Open. I think that's all that's left in here. Alright. Game didn't want to register that shot. Always good. Oh, and one of the challenges I was unlocking in Call of Duty was like to get the special dragon off. Again! Alright. Well, he gave a 3 star. It's a completely useless 3 star, but... I guess that is Scrib. There it is. Where did I die before? I don't even really care about what I dropped. Hello. Weird bathroom. They're all dead. There is a typewriter. Let's 
let's see here, a scientist, a military guy, a businessman, a businessman, businessman, lots of money, um, oh, and a lady. I wonder how they died. You think the turrets killed them? The protectrons? The ultrasite that was just on the table? Game, I'm not, I'm not game my loot. I don't care about it. Like, I'm gonna go scrap this weapon. Or scrap it. I mean, what I used to do with a lot of legendary weapons, um, before uh, scripping was a thing, I just gave them to low levels. Like, you'd go up to a low level, here you go, have this. Like, that's if I thought it was, like, a semi-decent one. I'd, I'd give kind of useless ones as well. Get rid of that. That's useless. And that. Uh, I think that's useless as well. And that's useless. Oh. So, in the last video I did about Fallout 76, I was talking about outfits and how I said I really like this one because it looks post-apocalyptic. And I was complaining about the, um, the outfits that are added to the atomic shop, right? And the day I started talking, or the, yesterday, someone opened a thread about outfits and how there's no cute outfits. I'm like, why and, like, people were talking... There's a big thread about talking about how all the outfits are ugly and nothing looks cute. I'm like, well... There... What? I'm just like, what? It shouldn't look cute. It's just post-apocalyptic. It should be gruesome and gritty. Like, this outfit's okay. Like, it's pretty good. Like, the asymmetric pauldrons, which I really like. I always like asymmetric pauldrons. It's got the bandolier. It, it's, it's good. But... Stuff that are, like, just dresses you wear. Like, frilly dresses and stuff like that. You know. Varsity jackets. And just things that you would wear right now. You know, that you would go out and go outside and be seen in. Shouldn't be, you know, a priority. Gritty outfits. You're like, you're living in a post apocalyptic waste thing. You're living day to day or hour to hour trying not to die. Things that make you look, you know, like this skull masks and, you know, just piece together outfits with tons of, you know, ammo pouches and stuff like that, or, like, leather armor, you know? Armor. It should look like armor. You know, or radiation, like, stuff to protect you from radiation. Not like you're going to the gala ball. Like, I don't know. I don't get it. Like, it just seems weird that you would want that in a in a Fallout game. Yes, I get that. You know, Fallout Four and this game are kind of a little bit happier in a way. Like the scenery is a lot brighter than Fallout Three in New Vegas, but it's still the post-apocalypse. You know, people are dying, like horrible deaths. I don't know. It just seems weird. If you happen to be watching this far, just tell me what you think about, like, the outfits and what type of outfits should be added to the game. It should be... There have been kind of very few, like, gritty outfits like this. Like, this this, this looks great to me. That uh, A couple of the Free States ones also look really good. I didn't buy them because they were, like, bundle only, but... Who the? All oh, rats. Yeah, here. I was looking at stuff in the atomic shop. Oh, I was looking at my plans. Yeah. Uh, where is there scorched? Like a lot of scorched. I don't know where they're scorched. The Valley Galleria. We'll go there. 
And since I didn't give you a video yesterday, I'm going to make this one longer. Maybe 40 some minutes. Maybe. But uh, just... Just frilly outfits. It, in the post-apocalyptic... Post-apocalypse annoy me. I have actually small gifts to open, don't I? Oh! Plan and plan. And I really hope they don't add too many more frilly outfits. I mean, like, I think I think it was a girl who started the, the thread, but like, you can make post-apocalyptic female outfits fairly easily, I find. You know? Just the whole thing is just weird to me. That you would want. Like, I guess you can say, oh, these guys are in funny outfits. Well, yeah, it's it's an event. It's not like they're year-round looking like that. I mean, look at the sports. Like, the darkness. They're, the guy's flesh, their flesh be, has been ripped off and or whatever happened to them. And they have crystals growing out of their body. I would say, you know. You know what? Honestly, if you think about it, like metal outfits, like pe things that, um, you know, metalheads wear and like heavy metal stuff wear fits better into an apocalypse than those things. Despite, you know, Fallout not being heavy metal, well, except Fallout Brotherhood of Steel. Outfits I find would still work. You can't tell me that what that what I'm wearing looks very 50s. Uh, sorry I went on the off the on this tangent about outfits, but it's just something that annoys me. Do you think the Valley Galleria music in here is copyrighted? I don't think it is, but... And you can't turn it off, which is weird. It's, it's not like environmental music. There's not as many scorched in here as I thought there'd be. Hey, a two-star. Like, I really like this event, how, you know, there's multiple legendaries in every Scorched location now. I'm gonna drop that. There we go. I know a lot of people are farming these lit these holiday scorches for the plans, but eh.
<laughs> I don't really care about plans, you know. Because people want the, cl the plans in order to sell the stuff for caps. It's like, I don't care about caps because I don't buy things from other players. Like, I'll trade. Like, I'd rather trade than act buy something for caps, you know. To me, that's just more worth it. Caps are just a frivolous item. Where else is there scorched? That's ghouls in there. Oh wait, I know where there is. Um, the Tiv Watoga Civic Center, they're scorched in there. Yeah. I don't know. I hope they add more weapons to the game. I was it's something that interested me uh, with one of the new weapons. Well, technically a weapon from an old game that they added to this one, and it's um. This, the, the Colt single action army that they added. Right. The reason I say that is because let's look at the reload animation. It's surprisingly smooth. Like, look, he eject the shell. Put one in. Eject. Shell. Eject. Shell. Like, like especially that last part. This, like this. See the, like that? That's surprisingly smooth for a Bethesda animation. Like, compare that to an older, like, Fallout 4 weapon. Right? Like here. Like, that's not as smooth. It's it's almost a bit, like, older style of an animation. You know? Where it's not quite smooth, it's more, like, rigid. And I would say especially the lever action has, like, that. Like, see, it, do it doesn't quite line up right. It's not quite right. It's not quite smooth. The laser rifle has, has that problem as well. See, wait. The way he puts the um, microfusion cell in. See, it snaps. It's not slide in. It's, it's snap in. It's like... I don't know how to explain it. But, uh, some people will get what I mean. You know? It's like it's like comparing Modern Warfare's animations to older Call of Duty's animations. I would say especially look at them... Um, like, uh... Modern, or not Modern Warfare, but, uh, pre, like, just, just compare the old animations to the new ones. You can see just how much, like, smoother the new ones are compared to the old ones. Oh, what am I doing? I'm supposed to be going in there. Oh, and someone commented on one of my videos, one of my Death Knight build videos for this game. He's like, ah, I was looking for World of Warcraft bloody Death Knight build. It's like, ah, and it's like, some, some type of rude comment. It's like, I just put, that's a, that sounds like a personal problem. You know, Fallout 76 is literally in the title of the video. I always put the game in the title of the video with what I'm doing. Uh, hold on, I have to reload my single action army. Which for some reason fires 44 and not 45. Which, you know, why it fires 44 and not 45, I don't know. Because, you know, I mean, there are versions that fire, you know, 44 Magnum now, but... Even if they tried to say it's 44 special, I think 45 would have made a better choice, you know, because 45 Colt. Uh, don't worry about my stim packs. I'll just go get some afterwards. Like.
I didn't actually want this as my second weapon, but it'll have to do. I'm not a pistol build. I just have this on me because I wanted something in 44. Because 44 is relatively easy ammo to get. Hello. Why did you, like, completely destroy my screen? I noticed recently, I'm getting a lot of weird comments by, um, South American people. Like, is that where YouTube's recommending my channel now? Because I put in my description I'm Puerto Rican. Which is kind of funny because Brazil speaks Portuguese and not Spanish. Oh, I have holiday gifts. Did you get any plans? Oh, I did. Aha. Uh Sickle. Oh my god, he was a communist. Think that's everyone? Oh, no, there's one, somebody. Who has no loot? See, like, I should be able to go up to this and just go. I don't have a shotgun on me, but I do have a. You know, frag grenade. You should be able to, you know, just go like that. There. Open door. There's a mod that does that for Fallout 4, and it's so nice just being able to open a door with an explosive. And, you know, it relatively works. So, it, Bethesda could easily implement that. Like, the mod author for that mod tried to make it so the door would blow open. But, um, that doesn't work. So it, it spins around in a circle. Which, it might be that the mod's broken, but... But just... Uh, it's, it's so nice, just not having to lockpick... We use terminals. And it's such an easy thing that they could, you know, add. Oh. Game, I don't want 40 millimeter grenades. Explosive weapons are near useless because of how fast they break. And I'm going to end it here. It's been 40 minutes. Figured that's good enough. It is 4 p.m., so, so this video is not going to be up till a little bit later. But yeah.